so uh, it's me your little boy okay, Samson you know they are mad because they can't control you and they can't control your mind you know I have made a video about mind the power of mind you know let's let just, just imagine many of us know that you cannot start up something without thinking about it that is to tell you how powerful your mind is no matter whom you are you cannot just said i want to do this without thinking it there must be that thought there must be that thinking so some people cannot control your mind some people cannot control you that is why they are scared that is why they hate you you have to understand it just like where you are dating a narcissist person when a na when you refuse to give a narcissist person authority over your life you come to understand that no matter what you do you will always be the problem because they will love you as long as they are what they are the one that controlled you they are the one that manipulate you use you so you have to understand that a lot of people don't hate you because of the fact that you are only growing because there are people who intentionally come into your life to rough everything when i mean rough there are people who made up their mind to just come into your into your life to control you because they know that once they are able to control your mind they can control your future once they are able to control your mind they can dictate whom you become and how you will end this is just it that is why we have a lot of people who mislead others that is why we have a lot of people today who are in prison but yet they are innocent <laughs> yes if you go to some prisons today if you ask some guys if you ask some ladies why are you here they'll just tell you my friend my co-workers my neighbors my this and when you come to ask them deep question you come to understand that they make the mistake of giving people their mind to control because there are people who have never what steal in their entire life there are people who have never done something that is contrary to what to the law and you got to understand that some of them, some of their friends, will come to that point of manipulating them, convincing them to do what they never expect in their entire life to do. And sometimes many of them just do it at once and they catch them. Trust me, there are people who have never thief, who have never steal. And because of the fact that they don't own their mind, anything they ask them to do, that is what they do. Any, anywhere they push them, that is where they go. You come to understand that there are some people today like this that are in prison. Because they tell them, you know, hey, let's go and steal that car. Let's go and steal that place. Let's go to that house and steal. You know, we do it last year. We, we earned a lot of money. Let's go, let's go. The, the next thing, before they tell them one, two, three, four, five times, you got to understand that they will get their mind and lead them astray. I can remember one of my friends. I, I won't call his name. So there is something that many of my friends do used to do. Which I have called the name of that guy. He do used to tell them they have forced me. I said no. So the moment they just tell this guy, this guy start to you know he start to act like he, he, he want to you know want to convince me. I look at him. I look at him. I look at him. <laughs> I look at him. I smile. One day I called him. I said, "You don't you don't know what you are doing to yourself. A day will come you will regret it because sometimes there are a lot of people who don't own their mind." They don't own nothing. Anything they just tell them. That is why I always tell you, it, the, it, if you want to pray, always pray that may God not lead you to people who don't have what, who don't think twice, who don't reason well, who don't have their own brain. May God not lead you to them. Like people who don't have what conscious. 
So you need to be, you need to understand that there are a lot of people today who are being controlled. They manipulate them. They use them. They treat them. Anything they just ask them to do, that is what they do. And you, as long as they are not able to convince you, you become their enemy. Because when they try, you know, I can recall when I was in my former place, there is something that many of my friends do used to, they do used to tell me, you are in, you are in Italy, if you don't do this, can't you don't know that you won't be able to get job? And as long as you are here, anything you see here, you do it. I said, anything I see, I do it. Even when I know, that is evil. I can't. Many of them start to gossip me. Many of them start to speak bad about me. Why? Because I did not allow them to have my mind. I can recall when I was in school. There was something that happened. So the principal was asking them, who break this? Who do this? All of them, immediately one person convinced everybody not to say the truth. And he was trying to tell me, eh, Sansi, follow us. I said, no, I won't follow you. You cannot lure me into what I don't know of. When the principal come out, before he, he asked all of them, none of them say something. The moment I walked in, because I went to the toilet, the moment I walked in, he said, Sansi, who do this? I said, please, pardon me, forgive us. Forgive us, but someone among us do it. See the person that do it. I start to plead on his behalf. He forgive us. Why? Because some people we tried by all means to manipulate you. Even if many of them were sure because the principal was so annoyed. But the way I reciprocate, the way I respond to her, she said, okay, no problem, no problem. We will face it. Thank you for saying the truth. So you, you need to understand that there are people who hate you because they can't control your mind. Your mind is too strong. It's too powerful. It's not that kind of mind that they can deceive. That is why I said earlier, there are a lot of people today who are in the grave because of the fact that they allow people to control their mind. Trust me, it may sound funny, but this is just the fact. Right? There are a lot of people today who are in prison. They ought not to be there because they allow the wrong people to take over their mind. There are a lot of young men, young ladies who are in the hospital today, not because of the fact that they ought to be there, because of the people that they give their mind to, because of the situation that they give their mind to. So my brother, people don't, even sometimes your family, when you are that kind of person that is stubborn, that this is where your brothers, your sisters stop. And because you don't want to submit your heart to where they stop, you come to understand that they will hate you. Because of the fact that you refuse to submit your heart to where they stop, you come to understand that many of them will hate you. They will just be like, why you don't want to do contrary to us? Why you don't want to listen to us? Because once you listen... You participate, you start to activate it. They have already taken what your mind. But because of the fact that you don't accept that, you're going to understand that even your own people will start to treat you the way they treated what Samuel. Remember, blessed me, God blessed you.